Hello again my dear students, friends and supporters. Welcome back again to my channel Tell the World TV. If you are new in my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. For today's video I will be your pay teacher. Now set back, relax and learn. Let's get physically fit. Let's learn physical education for life. On your mark. Content standards. The learner demonstrates understanding a participation and assessment of physical activity and physical fitness. Performance standards. The learner participates and assesses performance in physical activities. Assesses physical fitness. Knowledge. 1. Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. 2. Physical Fitness. 3. Indicators for Fitness. 4. Health and Skill Related Fitness Components. 5. Assessment for Fitness. 6. Identifying areas for improvement after assessment. 7. Value of participation in physical activities. Learning competencies. 1. Describe the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. 2. Explain the indicators for fitness. 3. Assess regularly participation in physical activities based on the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. 4. Explain the nature or background of the games. Lesson 1. Let's get physically fit. Have you thought about getting your body in shape? Well, you should be. Read the paragraph below to find out why it is important to be physically fit. Physical fitness, it's now or never. Physical fitness may not be a big deal or an issue for you, young as you are now, but it is possible later on if you fail to be conscious about your health and fitness. It would be difficult for you to cut down your undesirable eating habits and lack of participation physical activities when you are much older. This would be the right time to start engaging in physical games and activities for you to grow healthy, fit, and happy. As the saying goes, it's now or never. Go and learn that doing physical activities properly makes you achieve a body that is healthy and fit. Get involved in physical activities. Many children of your age like to be physically active. You want to keep your bodies and minds healthy. Most of your time is spent doing various physical activities. Move around for five minutes. How do you feel? What happened when you went around? Moving around is an example of a physical activity. What is a physical activity? A physical activity is any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles requiring extra energy that enhances or maintains physical fitness, health, and wellness. Physical activities may be grouped into three, light, moderate, and vigorous. They all depend on the degree of intensity. Intensity refers to how hard your body is working during a physical activity. There are lots of examples. Activities that use lots of energy are called vigorous or high. Examples of vigorous activities are swimming, running, and biking. Activities that require a medium amount of effort are called moderate or medium. Examples are brisk walking and doing household chores. Activities that require low amount of energy are called light or low. Examples are writing, watching TV programs, and playing video games. What is physical fitness? Physical fitness is the ability to do work or any physical activities without getting tired. It is the condition of the body that enables the person to carry out any kind of task effectively. Some call it personal wellness. Doing physical activities regularly can help achieve physical fitness. What are the indicators of physical fitness? Answer the following questions with a yes or a no. By answering these questions, you will be able to tell if you are physically fit. 1. Do you easily get tired doing a continuous physical activity? 2. Can you stretch your muscles without feeling discomfort or pain? 3. Can you move your body with little or no difficulty? 4. Can you run 1 kilometer in 8 minutes with ease? 5. Is the amount of your fat less than your weight of lean muscles? If your answer is yes to all the questions, you are physically fit. If your answer is no, you have to work out for your physical fitness. Health and skill-related components of physical fitness. Fitness is a condition in which an individual has sufficient energy to avoid fatigue and enjoy life. Health-related fitness components are skills that enable one to become and stay physically healthy. 1. Cardiovascular endurance is the ability of the heart, lungs, and blood vessels to supply oxygen to the body during physical activities. 2. Healthy body composition is the normal balance of body fat and lean body mass. 3. 
Flexibility is the ability of a person to bend or stretch without hurting oneself. 4. Muscular strength is the ability of the muscles to exert enough force to lift weight in one time. 5. Muscle endurance is the ability of a muscle or a group of muscles to exert force to lift weight repeatedly. Skill-related fitness components are skills that improve one's performance in athletics or sports events. These components are agility, balance, coordination, power, speed, and reaction time. 1. Agility is the ability to change and control the direction and position of the body while maintaining a constant, rapid motion, example, changing directions while hitting a ball. 2. Balance is the ability to keep an upright posture while standing still or moving, example, skating. 3. Coordination is the ability to use the senses together with body parts during movement, example, dribbling a basketball. 4. Speed is the ability to perform a movement or cover a distance in a short period of time, example, a basketball player making a fast break to perform a layup. 5. Reaction time is the ability to react or respond quickly to what you hear, see, or feel. Example, a player starting to move as soon as he or she hears the signal go. 6. Power is the ability to move the body parts swiftly while applying the maximum force of the muscles. Power is a combination of both speed and muscular strength. Example, a basketball player swiftly dribbling while running to make a dunk. How should one participate in physical activities? Participating in physical activities is a major decision on your part. This is so because your involvement to it is challenging. Focus and determination in every physical activity you participate in are your main strengths to reach your goal to be physically fit. When you participate in physical activities, you should do it regularly or continuously and not occasionally. Stick to your exercise or physical activity plan until you achieve your goal. Read online and learn. With the help or guidance of your parents, browse the internet for the article about Filipino athlete Raylan Yusan Capellan who won a gold medal in the men's artistic gymnastics floor exercise during the 2017 SEA Games held in Kuala Lumpur. See how health and fitness turn into gold. Activity 1. Exercising for fitness. Line up with your classmates. Make five lines. Make sure that each of you has enough space for you to move and do the exercise. Do the following with the guidance of your teacher. 1. Do 15 seconds of jumping jacks. 2. Do 15 seconds of sit-ups. 3. Do 15 seconds of jogging in place bringing your knees up high. 4. Do 15 seconds of modified push-ups. Think and learn. Answer the following questions. 1. What are the activities you do every day to make your body physically healthy and fit? 2. How are these activities helpful in achieving your goal to be physically fit? 3. What are the changes you observe in your body after doing a regular physical fitness activity like jogging? Remember and learn. 1. Any bodily movement produced by muscles that results in using energy above resting level is physical activity. 2. Activities that use lots of energy are called vigorous or high. Activities that require a medium amount of effort are called moderate or medium. Activities that require low amount of energy are called light or low. 3. Participating in physical activities make you physically, mentally, emotionally, and socially fit. 4. There are four indicators of fitness. These are endurance, flexibility, strength, and body composition. 5. Health-related fitness components are skills that one to become and stay physically healthy. 6. Skill-related fitness components are skills that will improve one's performance in athletics or sports events. Lesson 2. Pyramid of Activities. Do you spend your free time wisely at home? What are the physical activities that you can do? Find it out as you read the paragraphs on your screen. Good and bad habits. How do you spend your weekends or holidays at home? You are probably busy playing mobile games or watching your favorite movies or cartoons the whole day every weekend or during days when there are no classes. Your parents were always complaining about these bad habits, so they assigned you chores in order not to laze around at home. You were tasked to clean your room, wash the dishes, and sweep the dried leaves in the yard. 
After having done all your duties at home, you were allowed to skateboard or ride a bike with your friends. You got so excited that every time you get home after school, you do your assignments right away, then help your mother in the kitchen. Eventually, you learn to do your chores without being told, after which, you play with your siblings or friends. Doing these often, you grow physically active and healthy. You and your parents were happy with what you have become. Choosing the right activities from the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid makes your body physically healthy and fit. What is the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid? Study the illustration of the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid on your screen. The Filipino Pyramid Activity Guide The physical activity pyramid has four levels of activities. 1. Moderate activities are found in step 1. It has activities like taking the stairs instead of the elevator. They are at the base of the pyramid. They are the most commonly done activities. They can be done emperor often. Step 2 is made up of vigorous activities. They are activities that make the heart beat fast. Fast jogging, fast biking, and swimming are some examples that belong to this step. Vigorous sports and recreation such as volleyball and basketball also belong to this step. Step 3 is made up of exercises for muscle fitness. Going up the stairs of a five-story building, push-ups, curl-ups, and dancing belong to this step. 4. Step 4 is the top of the pyramid. It includes activities that you should do once in a while. Watching TV, playing video games, and working at the computer for long periods of time belong to this step. What are the aims of the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid? The following are the purposes of the visual representation of the Physical Activity Pyramid. 1. To cut down watching TV and playing computer or mobile games for more than 30 minutes. 2. To do playtime and strength or flexibility activities 2 to 3 days a week. 3. To exercise 4 or 5 times a week. 4. To set goals to improve one's physical activities. Use the physical activity pyramid to guide your choice of activities. By doing so, you will have a balance of physical activities for improved fitness and health. Track your physical activities and compare it to the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. Complete the table below to show an assessment of your participation in activities based on the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. List down your activities and put a check mark if you did each on the given days. What does the record of activities in the table tell you? Check and complete the sentences. Blink I do more activities in step blank of the pyramid. Blink I am happy that do activities found in steps 2 and 3. Blink my activities are lacking especially for step or s blank. Blink I have more activities in step 4. Read online and learn. With the help or guidance of your parents, browse the internet for articles about famous Filipino fitness bloggers to know more about the right kind of physical activity you should do and the right kind of food you should eat. Remember and learn. 1. The Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid is a guide for your choice of physical activities that would make you physically fit. It classifies physical activities into groups. Its purpose is to guide grade 5 pupils on how they could work out their physical fitness and accumulate at least 60 minutes daily to meet the physical activity requirements. Again, thank you for watching and listening. If you learn from this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. This is Angel Pinello, your PE teacher saying let us all become a better person than yesterday.